This is our day at Epcot at the Festival of Arts in February of 2020. We started off the day with Spaceship Earth, which is a ride that basically takes you through time on the progress in civilization through learning to ride and creating books and computers and all of that stuff. This is a great ride for especially like on those days that it becomes really hot. It's a nice slow ride. You get a a lot of good visuals through the history. Um, it's pretty educational, but the thing about it is now it's going to be. It's a positive thing and a, and a sad thing. Um, it is going to go through a refurbishment. They're going to do some upgrades. So the things that we're seeing now, some of these things that we won't see, and other things are going to be added. That's part of the upgrade. But for those of you that just like to be able to get together and just you know relax a little bit and um, enjoy some of this history, this is a good ride to be able to enjoy. Yeah. So we just grabbed a fast pass and did it right as we got into the park. And then we started enjoying the Festival of the Arts. They have so many things going on here. They have fun food and artists, merchandise, chalk art, um, entertainers, like arts in every fashion. And you can see some of the things they have going on, like the living statues and performances. And at the Festival of Arts there at Epcot, it's one of those things for all the artists. Like, yeah, the express section, they paint by numbers um, to enjoy. That was a nice mural. Yeah, so basically they give you a number and a thing of paint, and then you go paint your squares. And then at the end, it turns into a painting. And then they have lots of fun photo spots. I wasn't feeling too good, so this was a good pose for me. <laughs> and then we went over to the land to do Soren because we had a fast pass, uh, which is a must for this. <laughs> this is the first time we had our friend Nick with us, and this was his first ride. So he was glad that we had a fast pass. And then we ran over and did a fast pass for the Seas with Debo and Friends. It's always a good time when you get to be able to share it with Nemo. <laughs> yeah, so here's some clips from that room. Let's go explore the big blue world. Hey, Mr. Ray, we can't explore without Nemo. I'm sure we'll see him any minute now. Nemo! <laughs> oh, science is great. There's so much to know. Find the more explorers. It's time to go. For any Nemo lover, this is a nice relaxing ride and once again if it's hot outside it's a slow enough ride you can get in cool down relax but for those that have children it's a great visual um, to see all the different types of characters and the things of how they put it together um, even for the adults um, you appreciate the ride and, and the visual effects I think Disney did a good job it's the EAC man The ride is over, and they have a fun photo spot to take pictures uh, with the sharks from Nemo. I have to do this like every time. And then if you go over to um, the is it Imagination Building, I believe, um, you can take photos in that photo booth. But here we are getting ready to partake in food at the Festival of the Arts. So the first visit we went to was the deconstructed dish and we tried all the food on the menu here. Um, so we got the deconstructed Reuben, deconstructed BLT and the deconstructed strawberry cheesecake which you're going to see here. Ooh, this is the deconstructed BLT. Um, this was so delicious. I would definitely get this again. I highly recommend if they have that in the future. Loved it. I am a big beef fan. I'm not a pork fan, but this deconstructed Reuben was a delight. I really enjoyed it, but I still missed the rye that should have went with it, but you won't go wrong with that.
whipped New York style cheesecake with fresh Florida strawberries, sugar cookies, and micro basil. I definitely enjoyed that too because I'm a strawberry cheesecake lady. And they had plenty of artists there sporting their art and you could buy it. America. <laughs> yes, it's one of his favorites. And here we're looking for the artistic marbling because we wanted to make a scarf for one of our friends for her birthday. So we finally tracked that down and you'll see us here just a few short clips of us making the scarf it was a really cool experience it was a birthday gift um, for one of their co-workers which was pretty awesome for them to be able to put in their own um, artistic taste with it uh, um, in making of this scarf uh, i encourage anybody um, that ever goes to the festival of and that they have this take the time um, to Take your creativity and uh, put something together um, for a loved one, for a friend, um, whatever it may be. They would truly appreciate the scarf. So this experience um, cost around sixty dollars to make uh, the large one large scarf, um, and got a discount with our annual pass holder um, card. One thing about making these scarves, even though that they have like a main um, blueprint that they use, the, the designs come out incredible um, when you put in your own taste of, with your drops. Um, you got to hold it at a certain height um, for these drops, and each design is uniquely different. And the other thing to keep in mind is, so if you're not able to make it to the Festival of Arts, they still have this experience available to do at Disney Springs. Um, so you can head to Disney Springs and do it there. And our friend loved the scarf and it looks great on her. She's wore it multiple times since we gave it to her in February. This part looks so cool. It looks like magic. Well, we are at Disney. So here we are sporting our art. We actually got to participate in the art at the festival. Then we went over to the Masterpiece Kitchen where I got the vanilla, rose water, and pistachio panna cotta. And um, I really can't explain to you the taste of it. I didn't really taste uh, the pistachio too much. Uh, the outside was actually a hard, um, it looks like you might dig into it and it's soft. No, but it's actually a, a hard topping, um, but it was good. I really enjoyed it. I would definitely get that again. We just now entered Canada and World Showcase. Here at the Arts. We're looking for our next food spot. We just had the rose panna cotta, which is good. For those of you that uh, that know the World Showcase, that over here um, by the Canadian. Um, pavilion um, they always have uh, some type of uh, musicians uh, from Canada they'll sing in English they'll sing in French um, they got some unique musicians they got um, the violins the bass the guitars the mandolins um, they, it, it's pretty unique for those that ain't used to it just sit just sit down listen to it for a little bit go find yourself toe tapping and dancing sometimes <laughs> All right, 
Morocco's coming up. It's really cool watching some of the artists paint. And then our friend Nick got the sushi donut and I tried it. And it was a donut shaped sushi featuring a salmon, tuna, shrimp, cucumber, and sesame seed over a decorated plate of wasabi, aioli, and sriracha, and a sauce. So I was a little nervous about this one, but he let me try it and I really enjoyed it. It was good. I would totally buy that. And then we saw some of the entertainment in Japan. There's Rob and me and now Tim and Nick. Tried some chocolate. It was good. The, ch the chocolate pairing is just like a lot of chocolate within the world. You know, some that you'll like and some that you won't, but it's something you need to try. And this bird, of course, was stalking us, wanting a treat. And as you will see, he was successful. And of course, their signs don't feed the birds, but look at those faces. Look at the face. Some more entertainment. That is one thing about Epcot when it comes to the festivals, they will make sure that you are fed well, that you have good drink and you are entertained. It's more of the art. America. And they were actually preparing for the Flower and Garden Festival as it was coming up within the next week or two when we were there. So we got to see some of the very cool characters. And there's our friend Nick with his stitch. <laughs> which he had throughout the trip taking pictures for his daughter. Oh look, a painting with Stitch. Then we went to the artist's table and I got the pan seared scallop um, because it is gluten free and it had a roasted red pepper and a Parmesan crisp and it was super good. I really enjoyed that. And then after we, or I, <laughs> indulged in that, we went over to the Cuisine Classique <laughs> and Rob had the beef short rib. Yeah, this was one of those dishes for all the beef lovers here in the world. It was wine braised and it was delectable. I, I really enjoyed it. I encourage each and every one who ever stops in here to enjoy this beef rib. It was really good. I tried it. And then I had the seared Corvina, which was gluten-free, with braised ratatouille and lemon thyme beurre blanc. And I enjoyed it. And then we headed over to China, took some photos, and then Mexico. Of course, we run around the whole world showcase. But, oh, I love this dog. He was having a problem walking down the stairs because he's so short. And then, of course, that's inside. Uh, the Mexico building and then we stopped at the pop eats and got that almond cake because we were doing this deal that they had going on if you got like five of the items it was called the colorful cuisine and then we got a special free treat so you can see here um, the different items that we had to get and then we got a stamp at each of the locations and then after we got that filled up we went over and got our free cookie and strawberry milk. So that was fun. And I love this picture, just beautiful of Epcot there and the monorail. And of course they also had these living statues. So we got to see a couple of those. That's always pretty unique. 
a person that was able to stand there and act like a statue. They were they did interact with some people. And then they had these artful photo ops throughout the park, and they were so fun. I loved them. Here's one of our little memory maker videos that we got. There was probably, I can't remember exactly how many of these photo spots there were, but there were at least over 10 throughout uh, the World Showcase, so definitely a must. And then they also had the Broadway concert series in the evening. We didn't get to do that because we had to leave uh, the park during that time to take our friend to the airport, but I would definitely want to check that out. And then in the evening time, they had Epcot Forever Fireworks. One thing about the fireworks there at Epcot, even though they're changing it, they always do a spectacular job. So I don't care if you are an adult to children, it's a sight that you need to be able to enjoy. It's definitely worth it. So another amazing trip to Epcot Festival of the Arts. cannot go wrong with fireworks it's eye candy you enjoy it it's just a celebration it reminds you of, of our freedoms any fan of fireworks would truly enjoy this wonderful spectacular This is Marcy and Rob from Travels with the Baldy Locks, and we appreciate you watching. We hope that you have a wonderful day and a wonderful trip to Disney if you're going soon. Travels with, with the Baldy Locks. Like us on Facebook. And subscribe to us on YouTube.